are back and uh this is a private stream today which means only only people <clears throat> only people that are sub to the stream can see this one a very special stream thanks for being subbed a super secret and then there's nobody can see it unless you're subbed so i needed in that you know before i went on break I uh, played Karma Top. We had a scripter on the other team. So basically we ran into a cheater. And uh, kind of got robbed. And we're going to bring that back. <laughs> but before I bring that back, I think it's important. I don't think the build... We got to go back over that build. The tank Karma Top. But we got to go over the runes on Karma. So we got robbed in the first one. In the second one, we will not be robbed again. Hopefully. All right, quick rundown of abilities. Don't ask me why I have lethal, lethal tempo. It doesn't make any sense. So first, all you need to know is that Karma's Q, or Karma's abilities, she doesn't have an ultimate, not in the traditional sense. Her ultimate basically empowers one of her three abilities. As you can see, her ult also, I mean, realistically, it doesn't do anything in terms of like move speed or anything like that. Doesn't change anything. You can see she's not doing nothing else is happening. There's not even an animation. I never really noticed that. Oh, I see. It just it just shows the little ring. I guess the ring is the tell. I didn't know that. Her Q is a skill shot. This is standard Q, and this is an empowered Q. Empowered Q has the splash and the second, the second explosion. Again, technically the first Q has the splash too. The second one again. Also, just for bonus information, um, you get, you get to get out of here. It slows enemies. If you have the uh, the empowered Q, you get the magic damage. The blast leaves a field slowing after it explodes by 50%. So it basically just amps up this ability, the empowered one. The W is interesting because the W looks... It, it, it's not what you would think it would be when it's empowered. So this is kind of the whole crux of the build, which I didn't really go over the first time. The idea is that with the empowered one, you get health at the at the beginning and end of the tether. So if I tank damage, I'll show you. Oh. Just take some damage so you can see. As you can see, a standard root doesn't really do anything for us. But an empowered root, it's pretty ridiculous. That jump, you can see that jump in health again. You can see that jump. It's very, very obvious. Now the shield, the shield is simply just her E. This is what the shield does. It gives you a little burst of move speed, which is nice. And the empowered one. Shields everybody around you. The, uh, the move speed appears to be the same. The shield... Uh, I don't think... The shield... Oh, it does It does give a little bit more shield, looks like. The shield's power spills over, granting 30% of total shield move speed to nearby champions. And that's Karma. Now, the first time I did this uh, in the first season of Chilnis, I screwed it up. The second time I did it on this season, I did better, but we ran into a cheater. This time, we're going to do it again. Hopefully, we don't get a cheater on the other team, and we can demo this properly. Also, I could play it a little bit better in team fights because I didn't play it perfectly. I think the cheater was so bad that I think I could have won if I was better at Karma anyways, to be completely honest. But uh, yeah, seriously, if, you're, if you are here, you are subbed, and I appreciate that. I was thinking about how to give you guys something special because I haven't been praising the subs enough. So I hope you guys like being able to hang out. Um, 
I'll be here for about, I'm going to aim to do like three or four recordings here. So you guys are in for that. If you want to chill, chat's a little bit quieter, which is nice. Let's see if we get a remake. That'd be gross. It's looking good so far. I think I'm facing Teemo. Damn, I thought it was GP. What is up, guys? It is Chillness, and we are bringing back the off-meta build, and we are chilling yet again. I think uh, for a start item. Ooh, what's a start item? What's a start item? What's a start item? Dorn Shield. Doran's ring. I think Doran's ring is probably fine. Sorry, teammates, I let you down here. We are doing tank karma top with grasp, shield bash, revitalize, and second wind. Okay. Teemo's setting up in that bush. Oof. We'll go the long way then. I think Timo is actually on the tri brush. I think if I fling an empowered Q in here, because I saw him move that way. It would make the most sense here, I think. Hmm, maybe not. Oh. Ow. That hurts. This might be a hard lane. I think I got zoned off of one minion, which is fine. seem that bad into Teemo, but I did get zoned off a of minion, so it's going to feel even worse. Cancel this auto attack. He's doing a pretty good job of zoning, actually. Good dodge, too. I think I'm starting to win the trades, so... though. Gotta keep these autos going. The wave's getting out of control. He doesn't seem to be responding too well. Nice job. Well, I'm in good shape. You could probably hold this position. Teemo or Amumu survived, so it wasn't a trade. Kind of wish Amumu got the kill. I think it's more valuable on Amumu than me, to be honest. Pretty rough lane. He was doing a really good job of being aggro into this. traded really hard there. Now he's getting worked. 
It's just too aggressive, I think. It's pretty fast with those boots. Karma top kicks ass, man. This is a strong lane. I need to use this more. I could really run over players and even in higher elos with this, I feel. I didn't want to shoot a Q because I didn't want to miss it. Also, I saw bone plating and I thought that would be kind of a trash play to make. Might as well stack up one more wave here, I think. Udyr's bottom, so I should be fine. Stone Renewer. Oh, and I'm supposed to go TR. That's right. I should go with this. There we go. That was a really good buy. It's not bad. Yeah, Timo's in a real tough spot here. It's going to be very unlikely that he comes back from this position. Did he back? Kind of a weird time to back, I say. that cannon boy He just is so obvious with his play pattern. And by that I mean he's trying to shove the lane, so I'm just countering the push and pushing into him. And making it a lot harder for him to really do anything that he wants to do. Should be a good back timing here. Feels like a Merc Treads kind of game. We have no Mumu ult, so taking a 2v2 might be crap. But then again, if I gank right now, there's like a window here where I'm allowed to gank GP. He has no vision.
You weren't CC'd that long, you're just bad, bro. Trades are getting better slowly. I just outplayed them so freaking hard. Nice fight. That was fun. Good counter by Mimu. That was sick. It's really good. Really good job. All right, next build or next item is supposed to be Winter's Approach, so let's move that way next. This Teemo isn't really a bad player either. Oh, I should have went Sweeper. Whoops. Damn. I had a pretty big Amumu already. Guy's getting donkey on now. I'm gonna save my empowered W for or my yeah, my empowered W for Udir and see if I can outplay it. Yeah, it looks fine, to be honest. Take the reset here. I'm thinking if it's Merc Treads or... I, I feel like Merc Treads might be better. Merc Treads or Lucidity. I think I'll just go Merc Treads. Okay, we've got two drags. We've got a fed and Mumu. We got me on Karma top. Bot's not doing that badly. This is definitely a winnable game from this position. Just stacking tier here. That's all. Should have got sweeper again. I failed. Oops. Oh, 
Okay. Udyr's got rifts. I'm a natural on this champ. I'm a natural. I'm a karma natural, guys. Towers have fallen yet. Push into him here. He's so on tilt. He's used to being able to bully people. He's not used to when somebody does it back to him. You tell. really want this tower down. Sweet. So we get our item now. Timo has personality, but unfortunately for him, in this case, he just got outplayed. I don't, I'm not really convinced that Timo could even beat this lane, even if he wanted to. trying to avoid laning with me now and I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna let that happen okay well now he's just on tilt I think ow ow This is scary times. Oh, that is nonsense. I played it wrong by wasting my W, though. Mm, the Akali mindlessly walking, please. Okay, he doesn't understand Panglish. Uh, where should I go? Frozen Heart? I'll probably go Frozen Heart, just because they have a lot of AD damage. They switch what you want. Ah, uh, yes. Only, only one side is capable of that. 
But we got third drag. I should be able to outplay GP if I'm able to hit the barrels. He's a lot bigger than he should be. If I was facing him, he would not have this much damage. And he would not be at this level already. So it makes it tough, but I could still outplay him anyways. I can't slow down the pressure either. I have to push fast. All right, so we got Frozen Heart's next item for sure here. I think our Baron is actually pretty strong. Man. Ah, sigh. I hate when supports do this. They just really want to win more, and it shows. Hopefully, Lucian gets a solo kill or something down low. What? You might as well fight, dude. This game is getting thrown really fast. Mainly because of mid gap. We have no wave clear. This Teemo is going to be aggressive and actually push too, which makes it even worse. Yeah, I don't think so, bro. This is a really good play to make soon. I think if I could will these guys over here. This is so sad. Oh, wait. The funniest part to me about League is how people get offended for you shot calling because they want to just, I don't know, they want to play a competitive game casually. It's so weird to me. Such a strange behavior pattern. Like, do you want to play a competitive game or do you want to play like whatever it is this, whatever it is you call this? All right, I got to level up. That was a nice little scoot on the level up. And I come over here. I think we win this team fight off and we the Feta Mumu. We got the Renata. We got... How do I play this though? I just gotta poke right away, I think. Oof, that's rough. And keep the carries alive. Never again. 
These guys are going to start experiencing why I want a Baron soon. I think my next item, nah, I, I think, yeah, Spirit Visage probably best. Maybe I should just go, like, Redemption here. get a Baron. I want to say very mean things to these players right now. Them, I can't make them do the right things. I tried. You notice how they're all bad and they're all blaming Akali? Like they, they're all blaming Akali, like they didn't just watch Teemo split bot and not set up Baron. I could make them, I could make them Baron. There's just no amount of pings would make them Baron. This is probably so good, man. Wow. All right. I'm just kidding. Obviously not. Uh. I mean, if we come really tanky, maybe we win.
Oof. I'm trying. I'm trying to battle it out. Who picks Karma Top? Interesting. Interesting. The shameless newbies. I think we could still win, but um, I don't know. It feels like with a Moo we should be able to win, but he keeps just dying. Dies fast. Cool, guys. I, I don't I don't know. Hmm. There is no winning this game, I don't think. Interesting. That's an interesting mindset. If I could go demonic next, if the game drags long enough. Enemy team wants objectives more. You know, the funniest thing is that if they just listened to my pings and set up the objective for Baron, we could have forced a favorable fight. But I don't even think they're confident enough on their champions to really win, even if we have a 4v5. I'm not really, I'm not so sure it would have mattered. Yeah, there's no way. Well, we've tried this, tr we've tried this strategy twice and we've had pretty unlucky games twice in a row. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Well, let's just let him know that I'm Challenger and I get paid a lot of money to play this game. Yeah, the Karma Lane was great. I actually really like it a lot. That was that was a legitimate, a legitimate uh, team team gap moment. the The thing is, is that if I was able, the biggest the biggest mistake that I could have fixed was fighting the gangplank. I miss microed, but like it's it's a micro mistake. Like it's not, it's not like it's a just a terrible decision to to battle a little bit either. It's just it's a micro mistake, and we didn't have any value from the teammates. Yeah, she doesn't carry late game without a team, and as you can see, this team was pretty uncarryable. Uh, well, not uncarryable, but there there was no carries on it.
Um, I do think it's just unlucky. I just need one teammate that isn't just an absolute drooler and that game's a win, I think. 